So today, by popular demand, I'm going to be looking at some of the trick plays in football because some of you wanted to see this. I'm going to do that for you. Oh Jesus. Before I get into the video, do be sure to subscribe, otherwise something terrible will befall you. Your food will all be gone off every time you go to open the fridge, it'll just be gone off. So subscribe and and have that not happen. Oh, I wonder how many bits are going to get copyright claimed this week. I wonder if I'm going to know what's going on. Oh, okay. It all happens so fast. Edelman in motion. Edelman takes the swing pass. Edelman's going to throw deep downfield wide open. Amendola touchdown. How is that a trick? Oh, I like his little walk though. Little walk run. Little walk run dance thing. That was cute. 15 seconds to go in the first half. Make it 14. Clock's running. Third and 24. Dante takes the snap. A better pass protection scheme this time. Dante rolls out to the right. Five seconds to go in the first half. Dante fires deep to the left. Moss caught it at the 11, but now he oh, look at this. To oh, Williams. Oh, that, that's exactly the same as what happens in rugby. What's interesting is they don't have to put it down. In rugby, if you don't, like, touch down, <laughs> the irony, then you lose the point. You don't get the point. You have to place it down on the ground. What's happening? Is this the same game? Oh, it was confusing where the ball went. Oh, look! A drone! Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool! It bounced off the hands of Hank Basket. Oh, he was married to a Playboy bunny, right? I know a person. Oof. They're very big men landing on each other's necks. I don't get how that was a trick shot, really, but... Not a trick shot, trick play. Some of these are well going over my head, but I'm enjoying it anyway. It's hard to tell sometimes who has the ball. I guess that's the point. Okay, so it totally Uno reversed. It totally reversed the direction it was going in. And I guess given how slow football usually is, that's a big deal. Because usually when they cross a line, everything stops. Oh, right. Okay, nobody knew the ball was over there, I think. Possibly. Maybe. Ah, look at the cheerleaders go. Okay, he touched it down. Is that in case he didn't get his feet across the line? Okay, that, that's called a dummy pass in rugby. When you like pretend to pass to somebody and you pass it to somebody else. Wow. Oh. Oh wow, that's amazing. Are you allowed to do that? I guess why not? That's amazing. He didn't make it all the way though. Sneaky, sneaky. Fake spike. What does that mean? What's he? What's he? Oh, I guess he's pointing to where it was. I'd like to see a replay. Do we get a replay? I like the little dance, though. It's very good. Bear in mind, I have no idea who these teams are. 
Who has the ball? Okay, he has the ball. Oh, he jumped right over his head. Okay, so they passed it in a direction and pretended to throw it in a different direction. Oh, this looks older. But the kick was never needed. He's looking. He throws. Oh, no. The fake spike. Oh, he was just right there the whole time. Okay. He he was already over the line. Mm, I don't think you're allowed to do that in rugby. I think you have to be within the bounds. Oh, oh, whoa, what a run. Oh my God, that's amazing. He did a little run walk too. I guess that's them trying to slow down, but I enjoy it. I'm a fan of the run walk. Okay, okay, so he did his switch. It was like a bait and switch. Wow, that was amazing. That was just pure speed. I mean, I guess it was a little trick. Once they took Leonard Fournette out, the offense stalled. And now they got to settle for three. This guy hasn't missed yet. This will be a 33-yard attempt for Domang. And it's a fake. The throw to Domang. He bobbles it. And now he heads to the... Oh, they thought he was going to kick it? Uh, am I correct in thinking he looked like a smaller guy? Would he normally be the guy to do the touchdowns? He he looked like he'd be the guy who does the kicks. And and that's what they've got him set up as. Okay, let's see. Wow. I think I understood what happened there. So he's not a player who would normally have the opportunity to get a touchdown because uh, he's a kicker, but he got a touchdown. He looks a widow next to everybody else. Okay, which pixel am I looking at in this one? It's very old. This one will be a bit difficult to make out, I think. Okay. I think that was very good because I definitely thought it was going left, but it went right. He got me. Touchdown, Oregon. Was this a beautiful play or what? And they were waiting on the outside for Stewart to get the ball. Watch this. The right hand side of the defense are waiting for what Stewart. Waiting for Stewart. Now, he doesn't give it to him. He's going to keep he gives it to him behind his back. Now that is pretty slick, I would say. I think that's pretty slick. Oh, he didn't give it to him. Okay. Jesus. So that was just pure brute force getting it across the line. Smart. Wow. This looks like one of those plays they'd have on like Glee and they're like flying V. Oh no, that was the Mighty Ducks. I feel like number 38 didn't even try there. He was just like, oh, I, I don't have him. I don't know. He's gone. He got it. Am I wrong? I feel like he just gave up. In reality, he was probably going at a hella high speed. Whoa. I didn't see that coming. Found the gap. We did that with the tiny tots in, in rugby as well. A game called uh, Find the Gap and you have to get through. We, we would set up all the parents and then find which parent was the weak link and left a gap. Um, so yeah, putting into practice what two-year-olds, three-year-olds do. Find the gap. I wonder did they practice that with their mommies and daddies? Just the direct snap to him. Cotto! <laughs> when you score, you get a cotto. Cool, well, that's it, I guess. Um, yeah, there were a lot of similarities between rugby and between football. A lot of dummy passes, a lot of finding the gap. 
some brute force in some cases and some little minor trickery. I don't think it would fly in rugby, but it was definitely fun to look at. Over to Chewy now for the shout out. Hi everybody, Chewy here. This is a very important group of people called the squad. And the squad are very special because every single month we have a hangout over on Skype and I can see them and they can see me and we can have conversations and it's really fun. So thank you to each and every one of them for supporting the channel and also for being my buddies. Good job, buddy. That's it for today's video. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on the other side. Bye. Hello, little one. Are you going to go up on your seat? Go on up. Good boy. Right on your mark, you little limelight stealer. Oh, this isn't hockey. I'm confused. Yeah, it's not hockey, it's football. I gotta go back. Do you wanna watch them too? Is that what's going on? Do you wanna come over here? No?